Now, hopefully this video brings you all a little bit of joy. I would enjoy making it. Um, just a quick video to share with you all a somewhat detailed textured method that I do on my hair. Um, I'm a little more detailed when I work with customers hair for sure, but this is just a quick way that I do my hair to get definition. As you see, I have tightly coiled hair, so it is necessary for me to use a lot of product. Um, I have very thick hair as well for me to use a lot of product to get my curls to pop. Somebody else may not need this much product, but however, I do. Um, so I lather it on. And you see me here sectioning out the top of my hair um, to keep that out of the way. I'm going to comb the shorter pieces and that transition area between the short and the long part um, just to get everything smooth. Um, you're going to see that I'm going to do some round brushing. My love, real love, y'all. This thing gets me by. I do not have to finger coil the small areas. I just take this brush and just roll it over. And it gives me enough definition that I'm happy with. Again, with customers, I do a little bit more to get definition um, as it would be more lasting. But for myself, this is sufficient. Um, and it gives me pretty daggone good definition. Again, this may not work for others' hair that may be finer um, because my hair is more dense and tightly coiled. The round brushing method rolls it over really easily and I'm able to get a decent amount of definition. So I'm just gonna go all the way around. Now for this little area, it's the transition area between the short part and the longer part at the top. I do some light finger coils, um, nothing too detailed, but just light finger coils to make sure that the definition um, doesn't break up right there in between the top and the bottom half. This is probably where I do the most, I would say, detailed finger coils. Um, because if you don't, this area will be fuzzy and frizzy and it won't um, transition well with the top. So here I'm just cleaning up my part again. Again, if you're wearing a part, you wanna just make sure you keep that definition. I do finger coils right in that area to make sure that it kind of breaks up the top from the side. Wetting the top, I like to keep my hair plenty, plenty wet when I do this. As you see, I went overboard. Um, but I just find that my hair is more defined and I don't get the frizz um, when it's really, really wet and detangled well. Detangle, 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 guys. I can't say that enough. If you're not detangling your hair, um, doing this, it's gonna be a mess. Again, I'm using product. Guys, do not be afraid to use product. The worst that can happen is you use too much and you just, the next go around, you know better. You just rinse it out and keep going. Um, so be, be a little heavy handed with the product, if, if, especially if you have thicker, coarser hair um, like mine. So here I'm just finger coiling the top portion. And I'm gonna just let this out go for you guys so you can kind of just see. Um, I'm not going in and doing like real finger coils. This is me just assisting my hair to um, have a coil and I'm mostly just doing it on the ends. I don't go all the way down to the root because I don't really want a actual coil look. I just want a little more definition and I find that if I leave my roots, um, if I leave my roots alone, then I have more lift and volume and I like that. Sometimes, sometimes I like it really defined, um, but in this case, I'm just looking for something that's going to get me by, which you know, this video is made in an effort to help you ladies get by just in case the government comes in and just tells us we gotta pause for a second and that do needs to be done. These are options. Guys, I promise this is something that you can do yourself. Now guys, I am not a huge fan of styling my own hair. I love doing everyone else's hair, but I do not like doing my own. So, I get it. But if they tell us that the salons are closed, what are you gonna do?